there's no progress. This Prime Minister continues to destroy Canada's relationship with China as tensions continue to escalate. Canadian farmers are struggling as China has stopped imports of canola and is restricting soy and pork shipments, while two Canadians are suffering in a Chinese prison and another one faces the death penalty. And now the Prime Minister is only considering engaging directly with China in three weeks? And that's if the Chinese agree to it. Why is this Prime Minister showing such weakness in the face of China? Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Our Prime Minister. Our Prime Minister and our Minister of Foreign Affairs have taken these cases and all of these issues extremely seriously, and we continue to work in a very complex and difficult situation with integrity, with persistence, and with grace. I've raised the concerns that the member has raised, myself and China two weeks ago, and we have rallied an unprecedented number of partners around the world in support of Canada's position. Last week, the United States and Canada issued a joint statement firmly rejecting wrongful detentions and calling for the immediate release of Michael Kovrig, Michael Spaber. We continue to raise these cases and all these issues. Madame la Présidente, de plus en plus